Hey guys, and welcome back to Growing with Simon. In this video, I will be talking about nutrient. Um, so I personally use the Master Blend Lettuce Formula, which is a three part. So it's the lettuce formula, you have the magnesium sulfate, and the calcium nitrate. So we're gonna move these out of the way, because first I wanna talk about water quality. So water quality does play a huge role in uh, whether you can be successful or not uh, doing hydroponics. You have quite a few options for water source. You have an RO system, which is by far the best. Um, it just removes all the minerals. And I think you're left with like, I think it removes 95 to 98% of all the minerals in your water. And that is the best um, starting point for your RO system. Option number two, you have tap water. Um, the problem with tap water is you have already some nutrient inside the water and you have no clue what it is because it's whatever the town puts in it. So you may have enough calcium, you may have too much magnesium. Um, it's hard to tell. Plus you have chlorine, uh, which you just have to let the water sit for 24 hours and that will evaporate. But if you have a uh, chloramine, that stuff does not evaporate and that stuff will be left in your water uh, throughout the entire grow. So that leads you to another option, which is what I have, which is well water, which out of the three, it is the worst because it pulls water you know, to 300 feet uh, in the ground and it has a lot of minerals inside of it already. And there's no way of knowing, um, just like the tap water, but I think it's gonna be worse because in my situation, my EC level for my tap water is, I'll just put it right here for you, 520. So I'm already starting, before I even mix my nutrient, with 520 EC level, which is the reason why I'm not getting some good grows. I'm always having to adjust the minerals over and over again. Uh, and it's actually quite a pain in the butt every couple of days I gotta tinker with my water. So that leads to the last option. If you can't get your hands on RO is um, rainwater. Rainwater EC level should be um, in anywhere from zero to about 20. That's the range for your the EC for rainwater. Right now it's the winter time, so I don't have access to rainwater. So what I decided to do is just put some snow in some totes and melt the snow. And if you look at the uh, water level or the EC levels, I'm sitting at 14, 12 to 14, which is an awesome starting point for me. And uh, in my newest grow, I did use the snow, which made a huge difference um, in the growth because I know exactly how much uh, nutrient that I have in there and my ratios are exactly um, what the, um, the master blend should be. Um, so now let me show you how I mix um, my, my nutrient. We'll see how much, um, the, what the EC level is if I mix it according to the master blend um, chart for mixing. So for example, we're gonna do only 10 liters. So 10 liters, it says 6.4 of the lettuce blend, 3.2 of the magnesium sulfate, and 6.4 of the calcium. So we're gonna mix that up. We're gonna see what the EC level of it is. And then I'll show you guys um, a little bit of an equation to figure out how much you actually need to mix for a specific EC level that you want. So if you want um, 1.2, uh, I'll show you exactly how much you need to put in. And this calculation works for any nutrient that you use, not only for the master blend, it works for everything. So let's, uh, let's get started. All right, so I'm all ready to uh, mix my nutrient. So what you're gonna do is you're going to um, di dissolve your lettuce formula and your magnesium sulfate together. And this is gonna be uh, referred as your part one. So you're gonna make sure these are all diluted together, first and then second. And then you're gonna put that into your five gallon pail. Then part B is going to be your calcium nitrate, which you will be diluting that completely separate. Once they're both uh, dissolved, not diluted, dissolved, um, you're gonna mix them both together and that's gonna be your nutrient. When you do mix, use a different spoon for each. So grab one spoon to mix these together and then use another spoon to mix this separately. You don't wanna contaminate um, part A and the part B until it's all dissolved into the one. So I am going to uh, fast forward through all this because it is a little boring to watch me mix it.
All right, so let's find out here how my sea level is. So it's 35 to 36. 36. 38. Okay, so we're gonna go with the lowest number, 36.58. So, very important number. All right, so we're gonna do a uh, quick equation uh, to find out how much of this nutrient you need to reach a certain EC level. Because um, if you're looking for only like 1.2 for lettuce, you know, we're putting way too much nutrient. Um, this mix that this says here is too strong. So I said that, I think I said it was 32.58. Let's double check here. 36.56. So you go 36.56 equals 6.4 grams of the lettuce formula. So we want 1200 ECs. So this is the EC part, this is the grams of lettuce formula. Equals, I don't know how many, so we're gonna put that as an X, okay? So then you're gonna go 3556X equals 1200 times 6.4. 1200 times 6.4, which is 7680. So essentially this is a very simple equation. It's one of those uh, that you ask your teacher in high school, say, hey, when will I ever use this? So it's useless math. Well, I'm using it today. So essentially it's this top number here times this one here equals this times this. So this times this, which is right here, equals this times this. So now we wanna find out, uh, we wanna uh, isolate the X. So we're gonna divide that by 36, 56, wherever that number is there. And we're also gonna divide this side here by 36, 56. So divide that by 36, 56. So X equals 2.1. So this is how many grams of lettuce formula you're gonna put in there. The calcium nitrate is the exact same number. And the only thing is the magnesium sulfate is half. So it's gonna be 1.05. So that's how you calculate um, how much you want in EC levels um, without wasting. Now, let's say you want 1200. I suggest that you mix for 14, 1500, you wanna go a lot more because it's easier to bring your EC levels down to bring it up. If you have to bring it up, you have to remix a formula that's uh, strong and then you have to take some of the um, water out of your container, put the star strong stuff in. If you go too strong right off the hop, you just have to remove it and just add some more snow or rainwater, which is uh, what I'm using. Uh, the snow in there. So this is the uh, easiest way of calculating it. Now this works with any other um, nutrients that you use, this formula. Let's say the other stuff you use, uh, you know, it's six milliliters per 100 liters. You just gotta make this equation here. Um, and it's uh, very simple to calculate. So yeah, the most important thing is to your starting water. You want RO or rain or melted snow. It brings the EC level right off the hop at like under 15, which is an awesome starting point. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, comment below. If you have any suggestions or if you have any videos you want me to do, let me know and I will, uh, and I will post those videos. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that little uh, bell to get some notifications because I will be posting a lot more videos. Uh, that's it for today and we'll see you in the next one.